Welcome to your Optavia Lifebook audio. My name is Christy Baker and I will be reading to you from Dr. A's Lifebook. And today we're going to be diving into element 10. And before we get started, just a quick request, go ahead and push that like button right down below and subscribe because then you'll know when the next video is coming out. All right, we're going to dive in. My goal today is to break up, even though this is a relatively short chapter, we're going to break it up into just two to three minute videos so you can remember the action steps and put them into play right away. All right, the title for today is The Key Role of Hydration in Reaching a Healthy Weight. Water is a critical component of your body, making up between 55 and 60% of your weight. Your body can't store water, unlike fat so you need to replenish it often. That's why drinking eight, eight ounce glasses of water a day is a core habit of health. Water plays a key role in supporting health, particularly during weight loss, when it helps remove toxins and un other unhealthy substances stored in your fat cells. Being well hydrated helps all of your organs and systems function properly. In fact, Every function in your body takes place in water. It's the solvent that moves nutrients, hormones, antibodies, and oxygen through your bloodstream and lymphatic system and removes waste. And of course, it's essential to your kidney's ability to filter and eliminate metabolic byproducts and toxins. If you don't drink enough, your body is forced to recycle dirty water diminishing the efficiency of every metabolical, <laughs> metabolic function. Sorry about that. <laughs> what you may not realize is that we actually lose nearly 12 cups of water every day. Interesting. Two cups through perspiration, six cups through urine, two to four through breathing, and nearly one cup through the soles of our feet. And in high altitudes or dry envi environments, you can lose even more, so you can get dehydrated in a hurry. How much water should I drink? It's recommended that you drink eight eight ounce glasses of water each and every day. This should be your guide unless you have a specific medical condition that requires you to restrict your fluid intake, such as a renal failure or severe congestive heart failure or if you've recently performed intense physical activity in a hot environment, in which case you should consume an electrolyte enriched drink. During phase one of your weight loss plan, there are even more good reasons to make a conscious effort to drink your eight ounces, eight eight ounce glasses per day. Here's a few. It's calorie free and it helps you feel full and satisfied. It keeps you from overeating Studies have shown that when we feel hungry, 30% of the time our bodies are actually signaling for water. It also facilitates the removal of toxins, such as pesticides and preservatives from your cells. It prevents dehydration as your body eliminates excess salt and water from a diet of too much processed foods. It minimizes or eliminates fatigue lack of energy, headaches, and unclear thinking. It speeds up our metabolism. A recent study showed that drinking two eight ounce glasses of cold water increased metabolic rate by 30% for 90 minutes. It helps convert, it helps your liver convert fat to energy. And it also compensates for the loss of glycogen stores as you lose weight. We know that proper hydration is critical for long-term optimal health and well-being. It affects not just our physiology, but also our ability to think and allows our minds to function at the highest level. We are going to take this very basic daily action and make sure that you are building this key habit of health early on and placing it in your mason jar daily. As simple as a task as it seems, 40% of Americans drink less than the half of the recommended amount of daily water. 
According to a 2013 public statement by the White House Nutritional Policy Advisor Sam Cass, this was based on the recommended daily consumption of water of approximately 64 ounces. Because most people struggle to drink a large quantity at one time, it makes sense to do this in eight ounce increments throughout your waking days, <laughs> waking hours. In order to set this up, let's, let's access, ah, I must be needing more water. Let's, let's access your current reality using our structural tension chart. How many ounces of water do you currently drink on an average per day? Take a moment and think it, think of it, add it up, and we'll do a little structural tension chart. We've got our current reality. What are the secondary choices that would support your desired result of drinking of at least 64 ounces of water per day? If your desired outcome is 64 ounces, a day of water, then you are currently only drinking four glasses of eight ounces each. It's important to work out what you can do to fill the gap. These are the secondary choices you can make. You can use the Optavia app to help track how much you drink. You can keep a large glass of water or a water bottle nearby, including your desk or in your car or whenever you leave your home. Another option is to use the Optavia purposeful hydration product to pick up a morning and afternoon and in the evening to rehydrate. What other choices can you make to help you get up to the required 64 ounces? Take a moment and text those to yourself. Maybe go buy yourself a new favorite water bottle that's one of my best tips and also using a straw will help you drink more. So let's stop there, reflect on what you need to do to get to your desired outcome and make sure you share those with your coach this week on your check-in call. Thank you so much for joining me.